just to get personal, he made Bach as accessible to me as a great actor at time, yourself included, make Shakespeare accessible. Mm -hmm. Shakespeare left behind certain actors as like all these words as is Bach, but there was something about the clarity, say, of your Lear, that it, oh, yeah. it comes totally clear, like Glenn and yes. Bach. Well, that's nice to know, but I agree with you about Glenn. <laughs> How do you do it? I, I think with verse, it started with me, with my family, who, my mother, who adored poetry. and I, So I was used to reading poetry when very young, and I used to read it in a very old-fashioned 19th century way, because that was the way I'd heard other people reading it, like um, so Gielgud singing it on records, and uh, Barrymore hamming it up on records. And even uh, people like, uh, I was lucky enough to have a recording of Alexander Moisey, you know, the great Hungarian actor who was a Hungarian-German mix actor who was so prominent in the um, teens and the uh, huge star and doing Goethe in German. And my God, you know, November Wien, <laughs> oh, all the little uh, reverbs in the voice and the tremolos and all those things. And then suddenly, I, one day, I thought, this is ridiculous. This is so awful. Why don't, it, it, Shakespeare particularly is so simple. Why don't you just read it simply? Because the words, as long as you obey the rhythm, uh, the words are, are so modern and so now. Um, why don't you just read it? So I, I started to do that in a conversational tone. And I realized how effective that could be, particularly the great moments which we will deal with later.